All right, everyone. So today, November 30th, means there's one week left until the end of the class. That means that if you missed any assignments from a previous uh, day, the last day for you to turn them in is next Monday. So if you still want to get any credit for a missing assignment, the last day is next Monday. If you've got all your assignments turned in on time and such, I've just turned in. The final assignment is going to take you to the end of the course. The final assignment, which I've added to Blackboard, and it's also on our computers here. If you uh, open your computer to the web design folder, remember the web design folder, let's check this out. Let's go to the web design folder, double click that, and then CIS257, and there's a folder in there called Final. Copy that folder to your desktop or your flash drive. And this folder is already on Blackboard, but let's copy that folder and we'll talk about it. So I copied it to my desktop, the final folder, and uh, there should be a couple of things in there. Uh, oops, you just needed the PDF and the doc file. So I've got the final project, it's CIS 25799, final project instructions, PDF, and final project template. So there's going to be instructions that we'll look at, and then the template is the actual file that you're going to work on. So let's look at the instructions, the, the one that is the PDF. I forgot to take out that ODT file. It's just the same thing, but you don't have to worry about it. So the PDF, double click the PDF. I'll turn the printer on in a little bit so you can print, um, but for the moment, just uh, open the PDF. So let's look at that CIS257 final project. So throughout the semester, we have touched upon a variety of social media platforms. It is my hope that in this overview, you have developed an affinity for one or more of them. After this class, it's up to you to decide which network you will continue to use and flourish on. In this final project, you will look back at all you've done and submit a report. So we've talked about Twitter and Snapchat and Facebook and Rabadaba and all of these social networks. To be a social media expert, you need to know about them all and be able to use them all and apply them in a company setting and all of that. But maybe uh, that's a lot to ask for, to be a pro in Facebook and Twitter and Pinterest, etc., etc., etc. And it's not, um, it's not doable sometimes to be an expert in all of them. Hopefully, you feel one or two or three of them you really like, you'd like to continue to use, and then maybe use them in your future endeavors. So for this final project, it comes along with the template file, that other file in that folder, final template.doc, that's part of the assignment. We'll look at it in a moment. And your setup here is that you need that template file, which I just gave you in the folder. It's also in Blackboard. You also Hopefully, you've been looking at your Excel document on a weekly basis and saving your stats. You want to, if you haven't, you want to go in and complete that as best as possible. Those are the two basic setup things. The actual tasks for the final assignment is you're going to print out your Excel spreadsheet, the one we created a while ago in the, in the office online. You'll be able to print that. And if it comes out into more than one page, that's okay. You can print it. You'll be able to print on the last day here if you'd like, or on your own home computer. But you'll need to print the Excel document. Uh, and then in the document that I'm going to give you that we're going to look at in a moment, you need to fill in some various aspects. This is going to be like a report about what you've accomplished this semester regarding social media, social media for your business. So we'll see in the template, you need to put in your company name, your company logo. And there are five examples, five sections of some social networks 
that I would like you to report on. And each of these will have a notable events and a goals. For Twitter, for example, you need to look back in all of the time you've used Twitter and look at a particular tweet that uh, was notable, that it got you replies, or that it got you followers, or that it got you favorites, or whatever. Um, so you just need to write something that you did well on on that social network. There's going to be five of them required, which we'll look at in a moment. Then you want to think in the future, well, if you tweeted that and it seemed to work out, maybe your goal is you're going to do that again, or you're going to add to it. You're going to try to think of an idea. If I was going to keep doing this, if there was still class next month, what would I do to increase my, um, my followers or my results in these social networks? What's a goal? And it's pretty open-ended because you could say, tweet more. Sure, that's an answer. It's not the best answer, of course, because you could say something like, tweet more about live events regarding blah, blah, blah. That would be a better answer, a more concrete answer. You're going to need to take screenshots of your statistics. And we'll see how to do it, but I've got it listed right here. You're going to take a screenshot of your five networks showing your statistics, showing how many followers you have or how many likes or whatever. And we'll do it in a moment, but on Windows, if you click Print Screen on your keyboard, you've got a button all the way on the top right called Print Screen. You click that, and then it makes a copy of your screen. On the Mac, if you didn't know, you can hold down Shift, Command, and the number three, and it'll make a copy of your screen. So part of the homework for the final project will be that you make a copy, that you do a print screen of your statistics. I'll show you an example in a moment, and paste it into your Word document. So you've got this text that you've written, and you've got a picture of your profile. When that's done, you're going to print it out single-sided. You can print it in color if you'd like. Our printers have color. You can print it on your home computer as well. You're going to combine your Word document, your Excel document, into a binder. You're going to go to the bookstore or Target or whatever and buy a simple kind of binder. A notebook, however you want. It could have a cool design. It could be paint, plain or whatever. And, you're, and those printouts that you made, you're going to put them in your binder and turn them in on the last day. So your presentation is going to, you're going to give to me a, a notebook that has your, your work there. I forgot to bring them in. They're in my office. But I could show you examples of previous students' work. I'll get those in a moment. Turn that in in the last day of class in person. It's school policy. Everyone needs to be here on the last day to pass the class. And you're going to come here, you're going to print out your project, you're going to turn it in the last day of class. Yes? What time are we going to meet? The usual time, 5, 10 p.m. But notice I have here that this thing is due at 5.55 p.m. No I'm going to leave at 5.55. You're not here, I didn't get your work. Extra credit. Add sections for any of the other networks I do not have a placeholder for. When we open the template, there's five that I've already said you need to do these five. You could add these extra networks here for extra credit. Two networks for one extra credit point. So I didn't have a space for LinkedIn or Facebook. If you do those both, extra credit, one point. Pinterest and Periscope, one more extra credit. Snapchat and Sue, one more. You can get up to three extra credit points, which is like 30% of an assignment. You will be greater than the completeness of your data for each profile. If you only filled in Twitter, but you didn't fill in the other ones, that's not so good of a grade. You want to complete them all. You'll also make sure you need to do the screenshots. We'll see how in a moment. So you will need to uh, add your screenshots to the document for all five of the networks. Your ability to fill in details of your company. So the front page, make sure you put your name, the logo, etc. You're going to need to print the Excel spreadsheet. If you don't turn that in, you won't get the full credit either. The Excel spreadsheet is the one that you were supposed to be keeping track of throughout the semester, what your statistics have been. Printing the Word document, of course, and combining it all into a nice presentation folder. Turn that in in person on the last day of class. The final project is worth up to 25 points.
It's due by 5.55 p.m. Monday, December 7th, which, as I said a moment ago, Monday, December the 7th is the 341st day of the year. And there's only 24 days left in the year. That's, uh, that's that part. Any questions on this part so far? Let's look at the other file, the project template. Go back to the folder. You're going to see final project template doc. Double click that one. That's going to be a basic Word document. The front page, there's a spot for you to add your logo. So you insert your logo. Final project analytics report. You need to put your name so that we know it's yours. And then there will be pages two to four. Notice there's also a, uh, a heading here. Don't forget to put your company name here instead of it saying your company. You do get deducted points for the details. So if that still says your company, it shows you didn't pay attention. So you need to put your company name there. There's a section on Twitter. A section on Google Plus, Instagram, Vine, and YouTube. Those five. If you do more, like I said, you, I didn't mention here LinkedIn, I didn't mention Snapchat, etc. If you do those, you can get extra credit. But what you need to do, there's this section on Twitter, and you need to put in your Twitter address. So there's my example Twitter address. There's summary, notable events, goals. Summary. As of December whatever, so you, fi you fill in a date, our Twitter had X followers. So whatever followers you have at the moment you write this, you write that in. And you are following whatever, whatever your account is following. So that's a summary of the Twitter. Notable events for this month. In this month, or I should have said, I guess, this semester. Example of something you tweeted about, perhaps a tweet that got a lot of action. So you look through your tweets, which one got replies, which one seemed to get you followers, or which one seemed to make an impact, which tweet. So you're going to write about it right there. One sentence is fine. You can put a link to the tweet if you want. Goals for the next month. So again, if this were a continuing class, or if you were hired for a company, I'm showing you here an example of something that you could be doing for a real client. You've learned all of these social networks throughout our time. You could get hired as a social media manager. You could do the Twitter account for a local company. Then the, at some point they're going to say, well, what are we paying you for? Just to tweet? Sit down on the computer all day? No, you're paying me because look at the summary of the number of followers you have compared to last month. Look at this notable social media engagement that we got. We got more followers because we tweeted this. And for next month, the goal is we're going to do this. We're going to tweet about your newest product. So this whole file, it's an assignment for this class. But it's also a template for you to take if you are going to do this for a real client to set up um, uh, criteria and goals in the job. So for example, Twitter. Example of something you will accomplish for the next month to get more activity. What would you think of? What one sentence would you think of to do on Twitter to get you more activity? And then a screenshot. A copy of the screen at that point. I forgot to update it, but uh, on, on mine this has changed a little bit. So, screenshot, just like my handout says. If you're on Windows and you press the print screen key, you can then, in Word, paste. Look at that. There's a copy of my screen as I was speaking right now. Print screen, paste. On the Mac, you have to hold Shift, Command, 3. And then on your desktop, you will have the screenshot saved to the desktop. You can just drag the screenshot into your Word document, and it will and it will show up in your Word document on the Mac. So same sort of thing on Google+. You need to write your Google+, address. 
a summary of your followers and such, your views, anything notable for your for the month in that profile, what are your what's your goal for the next month to get better at Google Plus, and a screenshot showing you something about your profile, your your stats and such. And the same thing for Instagram, Vine, YouTube. So this would be an example of what you would do for a client to show on a monthly basis the value of the effort of you being on Facebook all day long for their company, using Vine for their company, using Pinterest all day long for their company. Because this stuff is valuable. If you know how to manage this, you can get a full-time job being a social media marketer from the right company, of course. And to prove what you've done, in this class by the end, you will get an example here. If you've been following along in the class and doing this, you have an example. You have a portfolio to come to go to a local company and says and say, I have a I have experience from Southwestern College as a social media design a social media marketer. Here is my portfolio. You could obviously show this. That's why I'm also having you uh, do it and print it out and such on a on a notebook. <clears throat> So those five networks are the ones that are required. You can add more. As I said here, the other ones that we did in the class were LinkedIn, Facebook, Pinterest, Periscope, Snapchat, Sue, and Rabadaba. Um, if you add two at a time of those, you can get one extra credit point. Does that make sense? Any questions so far? <clears throat> It would be nice if it was in color because these screenshots are in color. Again, our printers, on the last day you can use them and they, you can print in color. You can get as fancy as you want. And definitely you, want, you do want to put it in, in a notebook. Yes? What if we have signals like in Google Plus, I have like a signal. That's okay. That's okay. What if we can just so well on these? That's okay. Just put what you have there because ideally, um, this is a long-term thing. You know, in one semester maybe we didn't get too many views or whatever. But if this were something we were more serious about and we worked at it more, we would see the numbers increasing and then we could have something to show for it. So it's okay if it shows zero and such. That's not going to affect your grade. What's going to affect your grade is that obviously that you don't do the assignment, that you don't fill in the documents, that you don't put the screenshot. But the actual values of not enough, quote-unquote, not enough followers or views or whatever, that's okay. That takes experience and time. Remember to put your link to your profile in the document also, in case I wanted to check out your profile. On some of these it's obvious where your link is, on some of them it's not, so if you need help, we're still going to have a day of class on Wednesday. Nothing new will be presented on that day, but it will be a day that you can come in and work and ask questions and finish any assignments that you haven't finished. Any questions? Let me go to my office and get examples from the previous semester. I forgot to bring them with me. I'll be right back. My office is across the hallway. Let me go bring examples of what previous students have done. <laughs>